Welcome to The Woman's Connection. I'm Barry Louise Switzen, your moderator. The Woman's Connection is a program about events shaping women's lives and helping one gain authentic power on a personal or a professional level. So won't you stay tuned? Women are doing amazing things these days. They're entrepreneurs and they're running businesses like never before. Hi, I'm Daisy Creel, and I'm the creator of Lip Sync the Ball. Uh, I created it when I was 10, which was about a year ago, uh, in 2015. And I came up with the idea because my lips kept getting chapped, and I decided it would be cool if I could create a lip balm that would prevent my lips from getting chapped. So I went to my mom with the idea of a lip balm that would uh, stop my lips from getting chapped, and she thought it was a good idea. So I decided to do an animal design and I designed about six animals and then my mom she has contact with a factory in China so we put the ideas in the, in the factory and they gave us samples and then we started selling them on our online website and that's how it got to be Lipsu. What is your online website? Uh, it's Lipsu.com. Hi my name is Julie Churchow and I am the creator and inventor of Aromadome. And what this is, is a very simplified, um, wonderful product for containing the atomization of essential oils, specifically Young Living Essential Oils, which are the best on the planet. Um, they're safe, they're grown properly to retain all the constituents and compounds that we need to make great and deep and lasting changes in our life. Why did you create this product? So I've been a massage therapist myself for 34 years around the world, and I was using essential oils for a good 24 of those years. At first they were adulterated, but I didn't understand that. And I kept finding that I was putting towels around my head and my clients had trying to trap, trying to contain the oil somehow. And it was really a very a hardship. I, it was too hard to put that together all the time without the towels falling on somebody's face or falling on the diffuser. And so I kept saying, somebody's got to invent something that just pops open that's easy in the middle of a massage session. It could be somebody laying on a, in a hospital bed. It could be uh, on, a, on the floor or whatever. And it's something very simple that you can just fold up real fast and pack if you need to. And that's this. This is the evolution of many, many years. And I think that these times on our planet are very quickly and rapidly changing. And so, um, especially also with the healthcare system, it's pretty unpredictable. We don't know exactly where it's going. I didn't even know three weeks ago if I was going to still be able to get medical insurance. So where we can empower ourselves as women um, and take our health care in our own hands and with our children and our families and our friends is really a very important um, thing that's happening right now on our planet. And the more we, you know, I'm not saying not to go to doctors, but you don't have to run to the doctor every time you get a sniffle or an allergy. And these oils really are amazing. They know where to go. They know what to do. These are all young living. They're uh, grown in 15 different farms around the world from Ecuador to um, British Columbia, Croatia, Ecuador, all over the world. How and do you know which one to use? Well, I've had a lot of studies and there's also a guidebook called the Essential Oils Desk Reference Book. It's got a list of every single and every blend. A single would be like lavender and peppermint, sage, uh, orange oil, and a blend, Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, things like Endoflex or Joy, Sacred Mountain, Believe, that has more than one oil in it. So it's got anywhere from five oils to 15 oils in a blend. And they're very specifically blended for the purpose. So if you want to create more abundance in your life, that could be abundance of love, abundance of patience, abundance of money, abundance of creativity. It doesn't matter. Abundance. This oil will like literally magnify that whatever which you're focused on. So we diffuse this in my retail store and the sales absolutely go up every single time we are diffusing this. A diffuser is a cold air diffuser. It looks like this and it comes out of the atomizer top. There's no water added, nothing added. It's just straight oil. What advice would you give to women? Well, we play a big role and we all know and understand that in these times on our planet, um, the feminine, the goddess, is coming back within men and women. 
And so the feminine within ourselves, you know, we all came through women, and women is what is going to change this world. We can't change everything out there, but we can change ourselves. And as we empower ourselves, and as we clear negative thinking and programming, and these oils do that, we get to add to the collective consciousness of what is good and peaceful and empowering. And, um, and every one of us that moves into that consciousness, we're all together, and, and that's what's going to change our world. We can't fix what's all broken up. There, but we can do this in ourselves. Carrie Warburg, Lodge founder and CEO of Earth Kind. I'm a mom, I have kids, I have pets. I needed a pest control that worked, but I didn't want to use poisons around my kids and my pets. Everything out there, over 90% of everything on the show is a poison and it's toxic to use in the home. So I invented a better way. I had the great fortune of growing up with an entomologist, although I didn't like the bug, so I just want them to stay away from me. So I reinvented the category. And we're making pest control highly effective and safe to use in the home. Hey, I'm Cassie Rimple. I'm the owner and founder of Lily Bee. We make products for the fanfaring pasta. So on game day, you can wear your college logo. And then on the rest of the week, you can personalize your hair with lifestyle snaps and charms. We have boots. Wedges, we have flip flops, we have flats. How did you create the idea? We also have a, a line of bags. I created the idea because I am a diehard North Carolina Tar Heel fan, and there was nothing for me to wear to the games other than a pink sweatshirt. And so I wanted something that was more fashionable, something that spoke more to who I am. And so I went out and created the line myself. My name is Shelly and I have a company called Chalk Me Up and how we came about this company is my son came home with a can of the paint, chalkboard paint to put on his wall. He put it onto his wall and we're looking at it while as he's chalking and me and my three kids said how do you get this onto a t-shirt almost simultaneously. And that's how it all evolved. It's all about fun, it's all about creativity and it's education. My name is Brianna Murphy. I'm the founder of My Cabana Boy. Um, created this idea about five years ago. Um, wanted to come up with a solution for applying sunscreen to your back, and it's super simple. Is you take any of the spray sunscreens that are really kind of popular in the market, lock, load, put it right in, and you can extend reach, and you can get your back and hold all your hard to reach areas. My name is Maria Rios. I'm the president and owner of Classical Building Maintenance, a janitorial full service uh, cleaning company. And um, I started my business after working for uh, another cleaning company for 19 years because there was an opportunity for minority owned, uh, minority women owned businesses uh, and the opportunity was there and I took it. Um, my advice to women would be um, Network with women, uh, be mentored by women, and join all and any women's organizations. Thank you. Hi, my name is Emma. I'm the executive chef at Aquavit in New York, and I've been preparing canapes for the Jolsberg uh, six-year anniversary. We, uh, we have a little bit of a different ones. We are doing a uh, fat shoe filled with gay toast.
I've done it for many years now and I still love it. Let's learn about Maduro wines. Hello, I'm Lissander Gonsalves. I came from Madeira Island. I work with Madeira Wines and uh, this is our brand new wines. Our company started in 2012 and uh, we just have three years old for now and hopefully uh, we have more old wines during these years. And uh, we work with um, growers from the vineyards. We don't have our own vineyard but we work with the growers and we advise them what to do with the grapes and so on. So we have the, this quality in our wine. And um, I think we women are just beginning in the wine industry, which is really good. And we are so good on it. And yeah, <laughs> thank you. Well, my name is Kathleen Murdoch and I am a wine importer. We're working with a rare wine company out of Brisbane, California. Um, I, when I'm looking, when we're looking to find new wineries, we tend to aim for more traditionally made wines. These are wines that are either following age-old techniques or traditional grape varieties. Um, mainly because we like that kind of wine more, not necessarily because new techniques are worse or better. It's just what we like. Um, and if I had to give any advice to a young woman who wanted to get in the wine business, I would say to just get your hands dirty, volunteer at a winery, go and work a harvest, work in a local wine shop during the holidays. Um, all, of those exper all of those places will give you the exper experience of tasting wines, which is really what is going to build your base of knowledge and help you get in. You can read books all you want. I think uh, the visiting the wineries and uh, actually tasting wines is the way to build that foundation. Let's learn about Australian wines. Hi, I'm Sarah Crow, and I'm the winemaker for Yarra Yering, a winery in the Yarra Valley, Australia. My advice for women is to just do what you love. If you love it, you can make it happen. Hi, my name's Kim Longbottom. I'm the owner of Henry's Drive Vineyards. We're a wine producer from Pathway in South Australia. Uh, we make Shiraz or Shiraz-based wines um, and a couple of Chardonnays as well. Um, my advice to women in the industry is to embrace your femininity. Hello, I'm Susie Campbell from Campbell's Wines and um, the advice I would give women is just to follow, follow your dreams, follow your passion and um, if you really want desperately to do something, uh, to do it. So my name's Caroline Brown. I'm fourth generation of the Brown family from Brown Brothers in Victoria in Australia. We've been making wine for over 128 years and in my generation there's actually eight women and only two men. So with a name like Brown Brothers it's important for us women to sort of stand strong and tell our message as well. My older sister Catherine's the first female winemaker that we've ever had in our family before and it's an absolute privilege to be able to be involved in our family business. Today we have some beautiful wines, many of them are under the, the label Patricia and Patricia was my grandmother and she was the most incredible woman who really gave her whole life to the business. When we asked her if we could put her name on our label, on the wine, she said yes, but the, they better be bloody good. So these wines are only released in the best years and they're an incredible reflection on, on such a beautiful woman as well. So advice that I have for women in the wine in industry is just to give it a go. I think, you know, women are becoming, there's so many incredible winemakers out there, so many incredible wine marketers, and I think it's just really giving it a go and having faith in yourself that women can make such brilliant wines and such a difference to the industry. Hello, my name is Amy Birch and my winery, Howard Park, is in Western Australia. Western Australia is a young growing region um, of vines. We're about four, 
50 years old. That's all we are, but we've got some wonderful fruit. And I wanted to say that actually we are, I'm here in the business. I've been working at it for a very long time now. And um, why we, I'm in the wine business? I'm in the wine business to produce something that's very special, that actually when we take to the world, as we are here today in New York, um, that we can say, this is what we do, and this is what we do very well. I've got an Abercrombie here, and I want to show you this. If you could look at this wine here, the Abercrombie. This is what I'm here to do. I'm here to sell and show our Abercrombie. This vineyard is 45 years old, and fruit from this vineyard delivers every year with Cabernet from the great southern region of Western Australia. And in Western Australia, when we're further south in the great southern, we have the ability to produce very fine wines that are elegant and beautiful to drink now. The elegance of the wines shows because the fruit from this area is surrounded by the maritime climate and the cooler climate of the southern coast of Western Australia. The high altitudes as well make such a difference and the cool climate from the southern ocean comes across and produces this wonderful diurnal temperatures which makes soft tannins really approachable. So Abercrombie Vineyard, which is um, 45 years old, is where we are in the wine business. As a woman in the wine business, I think there's always room for males and females. And I think in our company, we have a very big preponderance of women as well as men. I think that balance is ex exceptional because we bring, as women, something to the whole wine experience. We understand the pleasure that needs to come from drinking wine. And wine is not about scientific necessarily. It's all about the pleasure in the mouth, the mouth feel. And I think women express that very, very well. Let's learn about rosé wines. Um, I'm Miracli Masciarelli from Masciarelli Winery. I am the new generation of my winery. And my advice for the women, uh, um, my winery is 90% uh, women. Uh, don't be afraid of nothing, even if, if it's a little bit masculine world. learn about the food industry and women creating new products. Hi, my name is Leslie Riley. I am the principal owner of Mama Biscuits for Me Biscuits. I'm located in Germantown, Maryland. And the advice I would give to women is follow your passion. And you can also turn your passion into a profit. Because I actually started with social media. And social media kind of helped with the company. And look at me now. We're actually selling in both Wegmans and
make your dreams come true. company based in Quebec City and I bought this company six years ago uh, I was a lawyer I just decided that I would rather to be a traveler than a lawyer and then um, so I have a night advice to be um, never stop continue even if it doesn't work first time it will work and it's the only way we can succeed. really nice thank you Hi, my name is Nina Faust. I'm the founder of Faust Potions. Um, these are liquid nutritional supplement drinks for hangovers, jet lag, fatigue. There's an awake potion and a sleep potion. They come in a pack of two. Um, they are uh, great gifts to, to have and good to have a uh, around in the house. It's my first time in New York. We've just launched a company um, in the US. So, um, yes, what was your question? Um, my advice to women in business don't let any man tell you that, that you could not get enough not experience enough or that you should do it differently follow your gut instinct don't listen to anyone else especially as you're starting out everyone will tell you what will go wrong with your business how did you start so I started a long time ago when I was uh, I worked for a record company and I went to a music festival and I always used to take all these supplements with me to make me feel better but they were all and um, and English uh, festivals are very uh, they're, they're, there's a lot of rain and um, and I didn't have any water to swallow all these pills with so I said why did no no one put this in liquid form to make it easier for me to take all my healthy things to get me through the night and the day so that's how I came up with these. Okay, well um, I'm Sally BC from Lazy Day Foods over in Scotland and we make um, a range of gluten free products for celiacs, vegans and lots of people with different food allergies. Um, we make everything by hand from really good quality ingredients and um, we've been running for 10 years now as a business and we supply most of the um, UK supermarkets and we're of course um, launching the products in the US and um, I would recommend any woman out there who is wondering about starting a business and make that step because it's been a fantastic um, um, path and journey for us and we've loved every single minute of it. Um, you've got to have um, faith in yourself and faith in the product that you're making and um, the world choice. Uh, my name is Marta Spacey. I'm the uh, owner of the French Patisserie. Uh, we're based out of San Francisco. We've been selling um, high-end desserts, French macaroni, Today, 
that we would have 16 restaurants and I would be baking and cooking and doing my thing and writing books, I would say, what? Crazy. But I just put one foot in front of the other and followed my dream and continued to express myself through food. And I never looked at it as a job, I looked at it as something that I'd like to do. And it's still my passion. I'm 73 years old and I'm not ready to retire yet. So that's me, that's me. Just a regular gal who made her dream. I'm Deborah Schimberg. I'm the founder and CEO of Verve Incorporated. We make Glee, all natural chewing gum. Uh, we got started because I traveled to Guatemala and was interested to learn that chicle is the raw material that all chewing gum used to be made from. It's not uh, all conventional gum is really pet made from petrochemicals and a lot of artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, and so forth. So we started making gum. My advice to other women is follow your imagination. Uh, it leads to interesting places.